All right, so when you're dealing with nuclear reactions or reactions that happen within the nucleus of an atom, there are several different types of reactions that occur can occur, one of them being beta decay. And this is when a neutron decomposes into a proton and an electron. Okay, so why does this happen? Uh, well, the neutron to proton ratio is above the band of stability. And if I go over to the band of stability over here, it's, uh, this is the black kind of grayish line. We want to make sure our neutron to proton ratio falls within that grayish line. If it doesn't, then something's going to happen. It's either going to, it's going to start radiating some sort of energy um, and things are going to happen within nu the nucleus to make it more stable and, and to lie within the band of stability. Okay, so beta decay is when it's above the band of stability. So what happens then? Well, the, the neutron to proton ratio is too high. It's above the band of stability, meaning that there are too many neutrons. Okay, so we have to do something about that neutron. There's neutrons inside that atom. Well, let's look at a stable atom. We know that car uh, carbon-12 has uh, 12, uh, mass number of 12 and 6 uh, protons. So our neutrons is 6 and our protons is 6, making a total mass number of 12. And we know ratio is 1 to 1, which is what we like. We like a ratio of 1 to 1 at low atomic numbers. And carbon is a low atomic number, so it has a ratio of 1 to 1, so it's not going to actually undergo any sort of nuclear radiation. Uh, so it's totally okay. It's safe. But then you go over here to carbon-14, an isotope of carbon-12. Uh, protons are the same, 6 protons, and then we have 8 neutrons. Um, 6 plus 8 is 14. So our ratio, neutron to proton ratio, is 1.33, which is a bit high for um, the atomic numbers of such a low magnitude of 6. So what we're going to have to do is get rid of some of those neutrons. So inside the nucleus, what's going to happen is one of the neutrons is going to decompose, and it's going to decompose into a proton and an electron. Notice that one, a uh, positive one and a negative one are going to come together to make a, a neutral charge. So we have to make sure that these actually add up in this making the, the, new, the yield sign an equal sign. So I might, I might want to put that up there just so we can be clear on what that means. Okay, so what exactly is happening? So if our carbon-14 with a mass number 14 and an atomic number of 6, it's going to decompose, and this is going to happen, and it's actually going to, uh, it's going to emit this electron. So it's going to be a high-speed electron, and it's going to emit it into the atmosphere. Not only is it going to emit electrons in the atmosphere, which are pretty, uh, which are pretty bad for the environment, pretty bad for us, um, but it can be blocked by things like foil or thing that, something, a, a thin material can actually block this, so it's actually not that damaging, but it does emit something into the atmosphere. It also emits high-speed, uh, high-energy particles, energy particles called gamma rays, um, just as energy, because this, these, this is coming from a high energy system, now we're having going to a low energy system, and the energy is going to be released as gamma rays. So that's actually what's dangerous about, about this radiation. Um, anyway, so it's going to emit, go down to a, a uh, nitrogen with a mass number of 14 and an atomic number of 7, so it's actually going to mutate from carbon to nitrogen. Um, and let's look at this proton to neutron ratio, or this neutron to proton ratio. So the number of neutrons we have in here is 7. So we have, we're going to look at our neutron to proton ratio for nitrogen. Uh, and we have 7 neutrons and 7 protons. So this, this is a 1 to 1 ratio. And so this is totally okay. So now we stabilize this, this uh, carbon atom, and now it's going to be a nitrogen atom. So this is just one way that an unstable nucleus can actually start um, becoming more stable is by emitting uh, beta particles or electrons.